Welcome to day five. Our week of webisodes stamp camp is ending. We're sorry oh. it's ending, but we do have some <laughs> wonderful things to kind of end it with flair. We have wow embossing glitter, heat resistant acetate, and eye zinc pigment inks. We're gonna put them all together with some stamping techniques. Right, we're gonna mix them all together and serve you a very creative dish. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Well, we've got a marriage going on here, heat resistant <laughs> acetate and the wow. Let's go into the wow first, okay? Right, so we've got these four great colors of glitter embossing powder. It's real fine too. And we have nice ice blue, magical mauve. Pink fizz and totally teal. Now these are one half ounce containers. These come from England. Ooh. Yes, we've imported them for you. We're so special, And that to you. <laughs> these are colors that we couldn't find anywhere else and they just have a high glitter glitter, which just caught our attention. And super fine too, so they're perfect yeah. for embossing all kinds of detail. So we're going to start with that, and then we're going to bring in the heat resistant acetate. Okay, let me tell you folks, here's how it happens. You get an idea, actually Sarah is the one who started this, Sarah okay. Newman, said, how, do we have any heat resistant acetate? So it took six months, well, it really took a few weeks, but then the first sheet was $10 a sheet. Oh my gosh. And we really didn't think anybody wanted to pay that, we certainly didn't, so we kept looking and kept testing went through about six trials and we found this acetate so there's five sheets in here they're eight and a half by eleven and you know they're clear that's what they are <laughs> but they're going to resist warping for stamping for heat embossing so it makes it so much easier to add yeah. some detail to make a cover for your card without having to worry about it warping when you're using your heat right. gun in fact we even called it amazing acetate. and they work great <laughs> in a die cutting machine and lots of other options yeah we'll see let's get into the projects we're going to start with the wow and so we're going to bring this is in is this enough of a wow for you yes this is so cute very fun and it's got that wow glitter and it's also got these great chipboard pieces well i felt really fun because um we saw these little hangers with mm -hmm. the clips and they're in pink and they're also in white and we thought well that's really cute but then what do you do with them mm -hmm. and we then went to our friends at want to scrap and they had this darling dress form that is so chipboard. cute right and that just pops out of there you actually I, I used a, a craft knife to sort of break the, the oh, little real tabs. Thing. There's only a couple of little spots that you cut, make sure it just pops right out. Okay. But then you get to have fun with it. Then you get to dress them. So are you <laughs> going to do that? I'm going to do that a little bit, but first I want to talk about yeah, the, let's do. the different ones. This one was done, it was uh, covered in paper. This one was covered with the wow glitter it entirely. It certainly was. And this was done with strips of paper, and you just glue them on. You can oh, cut you around tore. the edges. Yeah, I just tore the paper oh, to and create you, a little bit of a lacy effect. And you tore there. them showing the white tear. Right. Uh, very right. clever. And then lots of glitter, just Versamark and glitter around the edges. There's glitter up on those hanger bits. Of and course there is. Lots of little <laughs> rhinestones and flowers to decorate this whole thing. I love how you did the little uh, flag. So create joy. <laughs> and just We've glued got... those on the back. Yeah, this one says imagine. And take flight, take flight right there. And then you've added the mini resin flowers. Right. Yeah, Which and are... lots of ribbon, ribbon on the yeah. backs. And these are those, uh, it's from the rhinestone sheets, right. actually. The diamond rhinestone sheets. They come in a big sheet right. and you can cut them apart. Cut them into strips Clever. and they are self -adhesive. Adhesive, and then you can decorate any way you right. want. Of course, the straps of your dress. This was sort of a little labor of love, just <laughs> adding all the little details. I like to this it. around the. But I want to show you how we covered the one dress okay. with glitter all over. So I've got my craft sheet. I've got that silhouette piece here. I have the magical mauve wow glitter and Versamark. Before I start, I'm going to lay down a little bit of um, post-it notes because I did the dress in a different color than the hanger. So oh, I just want so to you show you how you can off. just sort of mask that off, like so. It's really simple. And I probably cut a piece to fit in between those real yeah. easy. I don't know if I'm going to go to that detail today, but because you can see, you can just sort of, maybe that'll work. Oh, not quite, almost, almost. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure I took a little more time, but you can see if you, if you take time, you can right. mask that off real easy. And then I took the Versamark, just went all over this. Oh, am I going to do it right on the craft sheet? I think so. <laughs> All right, just put the verse mark over it, and then I'm going to have a piece of paper under it 
to catch the glitter. Was that my cue to bring yep. in a piece of paper? Okay. <laughs> so you just make sure, I'm looking sort of sideways as I do this, I'm looking sideways at it to make sure that it's glossy all over. Right. Once it is, then I'm done with the Versamark. Then Whoops. your partner slips in a piece of paper. <laughs> I can lay that, I can hold it by the top because I didn't put Versamark on that part. And, and then it's just a simple process of embossing like you do on anything else. And I should be able to just get it on the dress as I masked off it's that one part. It's such a great look. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I'm going to sort of tap that around a little bit, shake it off, and then I can heat emboss it. Okay. I'll pull that away. I will. I'll get the gun, the heat gun, and start embossing it. It's nice that I can hold it at the top there. And I emboss the hanger separately. Oh, look how quickly. It's just going. It does, yes. Very fast. So, so you just take your time and you move on down and you can see it changing, I'm sure, as I'm yeah. going here. It's, it's nice, fine glitter. It's super, super shiny. And when we're done, it's not going to rub off. That's the nice thing about embossing glitter. So this is just kind of a, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. It is. It's nice to see it in small areas, but I love it in large oh, areas. Yeah. Just so pretty. That beautiful now, sparkly that's dress. Might be a little hot. Just but... gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yay. So very fun simple. to do, very simple. easy to Didn't do. take very much time either. Okay, now we're going to move on with, in case uh, dress, you've got enough dresses. <laughs> you can also do it, of course, on regular stamps. Now this is using the Kindred Spirit stamp. And as we've shown earlier this week, this stamp set allows you to do layering. So you've got wide open areas, you've got solid areas, you've got a mixture of them but very fun and very fun to do them with a mixture of the WOW embossing powders. And Isn't that just beautiful? I love the different colors layered on top of each other like that. And that center step card is just a real showstopper. Should I just slip that in just yeah. to show? Okay, that's a center <laughs> step. We're having lots of fun with those. And as uh, you may know, that inside the package, actually on the back of the insert, there are the patterns for the papers to cover the various areas. So you don't have to do any measuring. But just so pretty with doing the separate layers, using the wow, mm -hmm. um, and then foam taping them together, as you can see. I love that. I love that you just do a little fussy cutting for after, after you stamped and embossed each one of these on cardstock, and then add a little bit of stamping on the papers in the background as well. Yeah. And on the inside, what was done was just one simple little one right there. Just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. <laughs> Those are on the new Mirage papers, I believe. I think you're right. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think you're right. Now we're going to go into the acetate and um, take some techniques with this and just, um, you know, okay, so what can we do with that? <laughs> and we've got this one, which is actually two techniques together. Right, you've got the stamp, the embossing with a silver zing right onto the acetate. And then you've got embossing onto another piece of acetate, which has then been cut out and foam taped on top of that. Right, it's just, just the body It gives part. this layered look, but you can see right through it, which is just gorgeous. And this piece has become the front of the card, right. and the inside of the card is uh, plain. Right. It's the, that back side. There's a hinge that, that when done just with a piece of paper, if you look on the back, you can see. Can we do that? Yeah. yeah. So there's just a piece of paper that was folded over the top, so the acetate is just attached underneath there onto that piece of paper. Right, so that hinge is what's holding it mm -hmm. together. And um, beautifully to have the little message fly high happens to be right. this one. And in this case, we use two stamps, which is something we really don't do, but it, they, these are such popular stamps. So the feather stamp and the butterflies, both kind of floaty things, went together to make this card. Right. And I'd like to show you just the basic embossing technique on the heat resistant acetate. Please do. Okay, so I've got my craft sheet, uh, my acetate, I've got the stamp set here, the WOW embossing glitter, and Versamark. The first thing I'm going to do, and the designers who work with me would not be happy if I did not say this, you have to get this wet before you put embossing powder on it because it's very staticky. And if you put embossing powder on there, it's just going to stay all over it and it's very hard to get it off. So I have a tray of water, I'm going to bring in and try not to get all over, 
there. Normally I would just run it, you don't have to use a tray of water, just run it under the, the sink, under the mm -hmm. faucet. The point is you just want to get it wet. So you're getting both sides wet and by doing that you're removing the static properties of, of that uh, acetate. So I get it wet and I'm just going to dry it off on a um, paper towel like this. So just think of giving it a little bath. Yeah. No just soap. Give it a little bath. <laughs> no soap needed. Just okay. do that. Get the water off and there we go. Now I'm going to set it over here and I'm going to use the Versamark on those little swirls stamps from that uh, feather stamp set. And the other thing about um, embossing on, on here is that it's kind of slippery when you set it down so you want to set it down and try not to move it around a lot. Just press it in one place. Lift it up and then I'm going to sprinkle it with the Pink Fizz Wow Embossing Glitter. It's a real fine glitter so that's, that's a pretty fine stamp and it's really going to get all over, all over those fine details and work just fine. Okay, pick up the corner, I don't want it to go <laughs> flying all over like it's doing. <laughs> Tap it off, there we go, I'm going to flip it a little bit. If you get some stray glitter around the edges, you can use a sponge, you can use your finger and sort of get it off the edges. Yeah, here's a paintbrush if you yeah, want to use that. Idea. So get some of it away from it. So that's, that's what I would do. Just so a little bit of water was on there, I think, and sort of held on to it. So that works great. But it's just beautiful. It picks up all the details in that stamp. You can see how it just, it's fine enough, that wow glitter, that it works great. I'm going to go ahead and heat that now and that's kind of the neat part of this is that you've got that acetate, you're going to apply heat to it and it's not going to warp. If you, if you did it too long in one place <laughs> like anything else, like any other plastic, it would eventually but you just use kind of a light touch, keep it just a little bit of distance and you go around and the wow glitter, it goes so quick. Look, see, it's yeah, unlike some other glitters, right. it really you does. You don't really have it? to spend a lot of time on it, so really, that's done. And it didn't warp. Good job. And it's got that beautiful glittery finish. Wow. And it's still nice and flat. And, and all the detail. And all the detail. And something I do want to tell you is that giving it a bath is something that didn't happen in our early uh, when we were doing testing. So that little tidbit is not on the packaging. So I just want to make sure <laughs> that you know that that is something that we want to share right. with you. <laughs> now, in addition to doing the uh, heat embossing with the acetate, you can also run it through your embossing folder and in this case we have used the snowflakes and you can see that this is the clear acetate we've run it through and then a little bit of the uh, white acrylic paint was uh, dabbed on the on back, the back side. I can show you how that was You're going to show that? that? Yeah, oh good thank that. you. So I have a piece of the acetate here that uh, has been run through the embossing folder. Here's a like clear thing. All right. This actually, for this particular card, there's a hinge on the top of the card with the acetate. That's, that's how the hinge was created on this card, so that it actually hinges over the back of the card. Right. And that's your card front. So Susan ran this twice with the embossing folder. She ran it this way and then moved it over and ran the embossing oh, folder. Oh, okay. Again, to make it wider? To, to make it wide enough. And it's an overall pattern, mm -hmm. so you can do that. Right. Then she took the picket fence distress paint, of which this is highly used. Get that, sh you shake that up pretty good and get the top off. And she just ran it across the back because on the back, that's where the depressed side of each one of those little images is. And she just, let me get it out. Come on, come on now. And she just started brushing around and she brushed it all over, not just in one place because she wanted it to get in every one of those little um, snowflakes that you see on there. That's the, all the part I'm going to do. And then she used a paper towel to wipe it off and just kind of keep getting pieces, um, clean pieces. And mm -hmm. she says you can even sort of use a wet paper towel if that helps, just to get it off there of the acetate part and keep the paint there you go. in those uh, depressed portions. So That's you're kind nice. of antiquing with white right. going into right. those depressed areas. And you see the result there on the card. It's just quite a good look Isn't and pretty? especially when you back it against something dark. Now in this case Susan used both the light blue and the darker blue suede paper so it just adds a fresh mm -hmm. look. 
Now the other thing that's going on here are those giant snowflakes. Right. Now what is a surprise to me was that they were done with a cutting die on the acetate, right? right? So cutting die on the acetate. So here's one that was actually, it, it works perfectly with the acetate. It cuts out just perfectly. In this case, there were a couple of different colored embossing powders that were used, and then this was layered on top of each other. I'd like to show you how that's done on just one. And so I've got, I've got that. I've got the Versamark. In this case, I'm not going to wet that to take away the stuff. Right, you because you don't need to. Right, I'm going to go all over it. And so I've got my Versamark. I'm going to get it all over that little piece. And then I'm going to cover it. I'm going to get it onto a, another piece right. so that I don't have to get the verse mark all over. Cover it with the uh, nice ice blue wow embossing glitter. It's super fine. It's like micro glitter. It's so fine. Yeah. And then I'm going to use the um, reverse tweezers. No, yeah. they're just regular tweezers. Oh, I think. okay. There we go, to shake it off. And I believe that Susan did this on both sides. If you even want to pick up oh, more glitter, you can. Okay. I think, I think. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull this away. Oops, I didn't it's want to It's beautiful away. right there. <laughs> and then heat set it. And that's what I love. You know, we wouldn't have thought about doing this before we had the heat resistant acetate. Right. It would just right. curl up into a ball. But this isn't going to. And again, it's um, going very quickly. Going very quickly. And I'm not wow. being super careful about being too far away, but there it is. It's done. Now what you could do, now she's got a solid one on here. Right. Look how pretty that glitter. And you know, mm -hmm. I think I would maybe even mm -hmm. take the purple mm -hmm. and put it as the smallest as one the on center, top. Yeah. yeah. So nice uh, options. While there. you're holding that, yeah. like actually, is it cool enough? Yeah. You know, I think that these would make absolutely beautiful Christmas ornaments. What oh, if yeah, you did the three together and mm -hmm. layered them with the glitter right. and um, foam just tape a them? a hanger on there. Yeah. Oh, just beautiful. Wow, neat. And okay. the larger ones, you could even do them and put them in your window. Yeah. The kids could have fun with those. Quite gorgeous. <laughs> Very fun. I like this. Okay. <laughs> ideas and ideas. All right. Now, there are more things you can do with the acetate and pairing it with the wow glitter. And look at this window card. Just a very fun idea. Isn't so that cute? We've got the circle that's been cut with the... With uh, those circles and scallops cutting right. die. So there's your window. Your acetate is in the window. Right. And it's been embossed with a black... Um, with a black embossing powder yeah, and, the super with the, fine. and with the totally teal embossing powder. And then we have our little girl on the inside. Isn't that great? Saying peekaboo and a missing you. Aww. That's from the Janie's Girl stamp it set. Is. Even the, the little the little hearts and the hello friend, they all come from that same set. Right. And there she is saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is on the Pretty Little Posies paper pack as well. I love the little just a little strip down at the bottom. But really a simple card. It's just having fun with Spectrum Noir coloring in right. the little stamp. Now oh. you can do the window or you can simply use the acetate if you want to do this technique, which is to have an overlay that has a bit of shine right. to it. It's funny that you say simply, but this doesn't look any, this no, looks it nothing but simple. <laughs> Although it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Right. Look. They were used on the steps as well. The, each, the acetate was done on each of those right. steps. Start each day like it's your birthday. You are the perfect reason to party. So each one of those was embossed with the fine, uh, super fine white embossing powder, even on the inside. But then there's also some of the um, Wow embossing powder for the oh, accents. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that a Versa marker was used. I would think you're add exactly just a little cut. right. So, so that fine Versa markers are great. You can just add a little bit of Versa mark just in the spot that you want it. And this and, is the mm -hmm. sidestep card, as uh, we've seen. And it has does come with those pattern mm -hmm. pieces for each of those steps. And, and this, this is, is the easy, birthday easy cheer. It's kind mm -hmm. of the chalkboard look, but as you can see, you can also do it in the white embossing I powder. I love the big and loose flowers right there. Pretty, pretty. It's beautiful. And you also can make wings with the acetate. <laughs> and isn't this just stunning? It this is, is the Paper Dolls um, stamp set. 
And yes, those butterfly wings are on there, but you might notice that these are even larger than the one. A little bit, they look a little bit larger. It's just <laughs> stamping several of the wings. So these are three pairs of wings, one, right. two, three pairs. Each of them was done individually and then placed on there. They're actually bent up just a little bit so that you can see them sort of creating some texture there, some dimension. Lene did that with the, um, with the black, uh, okay, it's black glitter embossing powder. Okay. You can see this here. So first she embossed them and so several sets of them on the acetate. Then she just colored them in with Spectrum Noir. And the best way to do that so that you don't disturb the embossing is to turn it over. Right. Color it on the back. It's also nice to turn it over because you don't have to stay inside the lines. That's right. <laughs> that too. And then you just start, you sort of go to town coloring any way you want. And as you can see, you can just sort of go wherever you want and combine those colors. And it's nice to add light colors and dark colors and just sort of go wherever you want. And in this case, the blues and the teals were used. Turquoise. Turquoise? turquoise. The okay. The greens, actually. The greens and the turquoise. Oh, the set? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So gotcha. each of those sets were used. And anyway, I don't need to show you any more of that. Afterwards, they are cut out individually. Right. And then layered as so. And as you said, those each layer is lifted. And by doing that, you're putting foam tape down or just glue, but just uh, in one piece? Just glued right. down. Yeah, the doll part portion was a uh, paper piece together right. on the different papers from the chalkboard paper pack. There's some uh, Spectrum Noir that was used here. I think that was from the neutral set. And all that will be in the gallery, too. Right. And then she's foam taped on top of those beautiful, lovely wings. Gorgeous. Beautiful look. Beautiful. Now, Debbie came up with, uh, she remembered a technique. And actually, this has been in one of the Stamp Camp uh, DVDs. Okay. Not right. the number three, but in an earlier one. So here we have our little girls. Isn't just she cute? Just all in black and white. Jubilant and happy. <laughs> and then as I pull her up, oh <gasps> my goodness. How she, did they do that? It is magic. It's a David Copperfield it's thing. It's simply magic. <laughs> so there she is. Pull her out and she gets colored and she gets sparklers and she says hooray. Actually, those are pinwheels. Okay. And so Debbie shows that to us. Oh, look, they're in her hand in this they're one. They're in That's her just, hand. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> so we all looked at that after Debbie did it and we're, how did you do that? <laughs> so she had to show us how. And I have the parts of it here. You're going to see three separate parts here. First of all, a basic card, five inch by six and a half inch card. It's mm -hmm. got the fold here. She cut a window in the front. All the dimensions of this are going to be in the gallery, but it's a, it's a one inch from the edges. She cut in a window here. She also had to cut a little slot here. Or punch. A punch mm -hmm. so that you'd be able to pull this It's like a three-quarter inch punch. Right. So the inside of the card, we've got ultra tape. We've got it on this side and down here at the bottom. The inner piece, which is kind of the tricky, the piece that's going to trick you. Here, I want to... I want okay. to pull this out of the card. Out? Yeah, I'm going to pull <laughs> it out of the card. So that this piece that sits inside the card, there is acetate on the front, and there's just a, a card base on the back, a uh, card stock on the back. So she embossed the front only, and then she lightly stamped. She did some off stamping to get that light stamp in the back and then colored in, and that's where she put in those little pinwheels. So when this sits on there, it looks like this, but when it's on this center piece, which is going to be in the center of your card, it's going to work right, like that. That's sandwiched in between. Right. So that's what it will look like inside the card, and then when you pull it up, you can see that it's back magic. line. It is like magic. So this piece will actually will sit inside the card. It's also got some ultra tape on there, which I'm going to take off, and I'm going to center it on the left part where your window is? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to get the tape off of there. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that part right okay. now. Okay. It will be, you would remove that and you just line it up on the left, which I'm going to do here, and, and just make sure that so it's centered. don't want it to overlap the, the fold. Right. Just. And then you remove the tape from this part too. I'm, I'm going to bypass that step right now. Then when you fold it over, you have this pocket that has that inner sleeve. And after you've done your stamping and coloring on this, you just set it over that slip piece, it in. slip it in over that piece in the center so that the acetate is in front of that piece 
and the cardstock is from behind. So when you pull it out, you get right, that you nifty the magic. Look. Yeah, you get that nifty magic look. That is just a really ingenious card. It's very clever, and it's a great use for the heat-resistant acetate mm -hmm. because the little girl is heat embossed. Mm -hmm. The pinwheels are dazzles, so just want to point right. that out. They're not on the acetate; they're on that right. inside piece. So right. Try and figure out that trick. That's how that very works. Very cute, as well as the dazzles at the top. So that's darling. Now we have another product that we are pairing with the acetate. It is and the Eyes Ink yeah. pigment inks. Oh. And all all of these colors. beautiful colors. And what it provides for you is a beautiful luster. And you can see that on this acetate that was uh, stamped. It wasn't heat embossed, but it was colored with the eye zinc. And you can see the pearl look. I hope you can see the pearl look. It's just yeah. a beautiful shimmer. Yeah, it's a, it's a pearlescent. And on this acetate, it was actually painted on the back. So okay. it was stamped on the front and then painted on the back so that you don't disturb the ink that was stamped on the front. Okay, you've got a demonstration of I that. Do. So, so let me scoot these here's, out. Here's a piece of acetate that's been stamped on. And oh, I'm going to turn it over to show you that I, I went ahead and stamped on this side with these neat little rubber cling stamps that have these really neat designs. Oh, here, how about on camera? So <laughs> there's the stamp part. Then I turned it over on this side and you just use a palette or you can use an acrylic block to put some of the eye zinc onto. This is the Topaz eye zinc pigment ink and it's liquidy, it's very shimmery and it's got this nice eyedropper on top and so I'm just going to put a little of that right onto that block and just sort of use that as my palette. So you can do lots of different things with this. One of the things that you're not going to see here but is something you can do, you can Put it in a spritzer with a little water and you can spray it as... Oh, so it's water soluble. Right, as a mist. So Whoops. I'm just going to paint that on just like so. So it's just fun to paint. Okay. And what Susan said is that, now see there's my first layer, which is what I did over here already. That's, um, oh, I wish I had white hand. Um, that you can see it's just kind about of white a light. Yeah, perfect. That's just a oh, light lighter. layer. Mm -hmm. And then if you let that dry and go over it again, you can get a thicker coat okay. and make it a little more. There are nine colors lesson. in this collection. And um, so I, just I Z I N K. I Z I N K. So I Z. And they are very, um, they're very, very pearlized, very pearlized. Right. So you can see that. There you go. And here it is as a finish. This now the version. stamps that we used are from Stampendous and they call them pen pattern and um, so that you can color in. You can also use them if you want to do kind of a zentangle-ish look. So there are quite a few in this collection. We'll back up a little bit so you can <laughs> see them and see our messy table at the same time. <laughs> um, so you can see we've got flowers, we've got dragonflies, we've got hummingbirds, as well as our sea creatures, and that's been used so well on this acetate. A Little bit of dazzles at the top. Again, this is going to fold over the front of the card, and then on the inside, which is just the one layer, we've got the paper as well as more dazzles. So, so they're perfect for the yeah. acetate. They paint on very nicely, but you can do other things with them as well. You can do other things nicely transitioned. <laughs> okay, we'll scoot these over and bring in our last card. Isn't that beautiful? And this has got some stuff going on. It does. First of all, it has some embossing. So this was a clear, actually a clear embossing powder that was used to stamp these Susan's flowers onto this. It was a white cardstock to begin with. I'm just going to show it to you. You're just going to show it to us? Yeah. Okay. Here's the white cardstock. Do you have another craft sheet? Mine is kind of... I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yours have been moment. well used yeah. today. <laughs> so here's the cardstock. If you can see that, I did stamp and emboss with in, white with or clear? clear with okay. clear embossing powder. One of Susan's flowers on there. Okay. Now I'm going to get that paper a little bit wet. Ah. It's sort of... Pretty wet, actually. That always surprises me. Yeah, and then I've got <laughs> As you can tell. two of the eye zincs here. I have amethyst and topaz. You always want to shake them up. You want to get all those little um, glittery, shimmery bits all over. And then you just start putting it around the paper all over using this oh. nice grip. And you can just sort of drop them on and get some real, you can go right on top of the um, 
right on top of the flowers as well that are getting drops now. I'm just trying to get drops. Yeah. There we go. And I'm going to add some of the topaz as well. I think you can all already see it sort of moving around a little bit there because the it's wet. I'm going to get it even more wet afterwards. Okay. I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to grab a paintbrush and start moving it around. Oops. Okay. You want so a wider just, one? No, that's, this is fine. This okay. Is, this is working. It goes pretty quick. Just sort of move it around. In different. Mm. And oh, I see, I moved it all around. Now I remember what, what Debbie said is that she sort of moved it around <laughs> in the spot that she dropped it in. So I'll try to keep that where it is. But I am going to add more water, get it to get a little bit more of a... A little diluted. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And so that's what she did and just moved it around. And then afterwards, I want to make sure it's all over that embossed area. Of course, we can see the stamp starting to appear. Yeah. Then I'm going to grab the paper towel and remove it. Just start blotting around and remove it from that stamp area. You can see okay. it. Okay. Oh. There you go. So then you've got that modeled background right. behind it. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it beautiful? Now this is the finished card, a little bit lighter colors behind the stamp. Mm -hmm. I think I like how you did it with the dark. That's, well, that's, that's just really a, striking. It's an alternative look. Yeah. It kind of does nice. Work. Yeah. Now when I was first shown this card, I was asked, did I like it better this way, or did I like when one layer was colored in with the icing mm -hmm. and foam taped on top? And I said, you know, I kind of like it both ways. Sure. So I promised to show that piece just like it is, and just a really very pretty look. And you can do some stamping in the middle, as you can see. And on the inside, we did the coloring of the butterfly mm -hmm. with the eyes. So you can use it for a, a little bit looser and just sort of color a mm -hmm. background or you can get detailed, you can paint it in and like right. I said, like combine so. it with a little water and a mister and you've got a mist. Yeah. And as I said, the nine colors look like that. Right. So, so we've got all those, we've got the wow embossing glitter. We do and now the brand new heat resistant acetate. That and is the super cool thing about the whole thing. Is that the super cool thing? That's the super cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> and and that is the end of our Stamp Camp Week of Webisodes. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to do a special thanks to our in-house design team for creating all of these wonderful projects. And Teresa, great job too.